Hello everyone, welcome to this new video where we are going to solve this exponential equation. First of all, I would like to thank you for all your comments and suggestions on previous videos. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So we first note that 9 power x plus 1 can be written as 3 square power x times 9 power 1. So this is again 9 times 3 power x square. Okay. Now this our equation will just be written as 9 power 9 times 3 power x square plus 3 which is equal to 28 times 3 power x so our equation was this one and we can see that our equation can also be written as this one now let's just rewrite it as 9 times 3 power x squared minus 28 times 3 power x now plus 3 equal to 0 okay we have this equation so if we we can see that we have 3 power x here and 3 power x here so let's just call it y let's just call it y is 3 power x so our equation can be written as 3 as 9 times y square now minus 28 y plus 3 equal to 0 okay we have this one and what we need to do now is to solve this equation so how can we solve this equation we can easily solve it by using delta so delta is minus is b squared minus 4 ac so what is our b here our b here is minus 28 so we have minus 28 squared minus 4 times a which is this 9 times c which is 3 okay so this is again so this means that this is 676 which is 26 square so the square root of delta is 26 okay since this one is greater than zero this means that our equation which is this one has two solutions which we will call y1 and y2 so the first solution is y1 which is minus b b was minus 28 so minus b is just 28 minus the square root of delta which is 26 this 26 here divided by 2a by 2 times 9 okay so this will give us 1 divided by 9 and the second solution we'll call it y2 is minus b which is 28 now plus the square root of delta plus 26 divided by 2a which is 2 times 9 which is 3 
okay so this this is our two solution so now we are going to replace the values of this y y1 and y2 you can see that our y was equal to our y was equal to 3 power x so we have uh, we have y1 we have y1 which is equal to 1 divided by 9 and y2 which is equal to 3 now if we replace the value of y we'll have 3 power x equal to 1 divided by 9 and 3 power x equal to 3 okay now we can directly see in this equation that this 3 is again 3 power 1 and it follows directly in this side that x is equal to 1 because we have 3 here and 3 here so the powers are just equals okay now coming to this equation we are going to solve it so let's just apply the log function on both sides of this equation so this means that we will have we know that the property of ln function is that we have ln of a power x which is x ln of a so we are going to apply it in this equation here and we'll see that we have ln of 3 power x is equal to ln of 1 divided by 9. So this is again x ln of 3 is equal to ln of 1 divided by 9. So we also know that uh, this is again using the property of the ln function. This is again ln of 1 minus ln of 9. Okay, and ln of 1 is 0, so this will just become x ln of 3 equal to minus ln of 9. So we can directly see that our the second x here is equal to minus to minus ln of 9 divided by ln of 3 and another solution that we found here was for this equation for this equation here was x equal to 1 so and also we have x equal to 1 so this is our two equation so the solution of the equation are minus ln of 9 divided by ln of 3 and 1 so these are solutions to this equation x 9 power x plus 1 plus 3 equal to 28 times 3 power x so thank you for watching the video leave me a comment for any suggestion and subscribe to the channel thank you